Hiya, I'm Jasper, and welcome to your video review for Apollo 18, the 2011 movie version, because when I looked on IMDb, there's a bunch, so... 2011. Um, <laughs> the other ones, don't, don't worry about those other ones. So, um, <laughs> this movie is a found footage movie from NASA's abandoned Apollo 18 mission. So, the opening establishes that the, that the movie is from basically like a whole bunch of, of footage was uploaded to a website, and that this movie was edited together from that website. <laughs> Which, um, you know, from a marketing perspective, was probably a lot of fun. <laughs> that, you know, if you're going to be doing a found footage movie, that's the way you should be doing it. Is make, it, make the audience believe that this could have actually been found footage. Have the website set up. I don't know if it's still active, but have the website set up. And, you know, th have that be the focus. So I thought they did a really good job with that. And... I'm not the biggest fan of found footage style movies, like, couldn't even make it through the Blair Witch Project or whatever, like, eh, probably the only other movie other than this one of the found footage style that I really liked was Chronicle, so if you liked how Chronicle was shot overall, you'll probably enjoy how this one was shot. That being said, this one is supposedly from footage from the 1960s and 17s, so, or 60s and 70s, so don't expect it to have the highest film quality because they are duplicating or, you know, could be real, of the 60s and 70s style uh, cameras where a lot of them are, are full screen and they got that a lot more film grain to it. Uh, but I thought that that added to the overall ambiance and believability of this having possibly actually occurred. And this movie is a horror movie. Just throw that out there for those of you who are just like expecting like, oh, well, I liked Apollo 13 and First Man. Let me check out Apollo 18. Uh, not the same kind of movies. <laughs> So, I do like that this does not rely on jump scares, but it is still a good horror movie. Um, it was so good that I actually didn't miss the fact that there was no music until the end credits. Like, until the end credits rolled, there was no music. And I did not find it distracting or overly quiet or too boring or anything like that. Like, it had good pacing and tense action things that, like, it's not an action movie, but, like, the, the things that were happening on screen were enough to keep you interested and engaged the whole time, in my opinion. So, if you're looking for a good found footage movie and a good horror movie that you also like Apollo 13 and uh, Interstellar and Life and Armageddon and, you know, just, if you like all those type of stuff, like, then, then I think that you will enjoy a horror movie set in space with space you know, astronauts and stuff. So it's a fun time in the horror movie sense of the word. <laughs> so definitely give it a shot. Let me know what you think. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. Bye.